welcome back to my channel. Today I filmed a super fun festival makeup look for you guys. Festival season is right around the corner, so I thought it would be perfect timing to film this look. I'm not going to Coachella, I wish I was, but unfortunately it's not in my budget. But if I was, this is totally the makeup look that I would wear. I got my inspiration from a bunch of different makeup artists that I found on Pinterest, as well as by Brickell on Instagram. She is awesome. If you don't follow her, then I will have her link in the description down below. But I really love how this look turned out, and I hope you guys like it too. Before we start this video, if you guys like me and you like my channel, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I would love to have you guys here. And yeah, without further ado, if you guys want to see how I got this festival-inspired makeup look, then please keep watching. Well, it's clearly not a makeup tutorial on my channel unless I'm apologizing for my nasty nails. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is taking my YSL Couture Eye Primer in the shade Fair just to prep our lids for the eyeshadow we're going to be putting on. Next, I'm taking my Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm putting the shade Burnt Orange into my crease as a transition shade with the Morphe E22 blending brush. Going back into the same palette, I'm taking the shade Raw Sienna and putting this right on top of where we put Burnt Orange just to blend these two colors together and add depth. Next, I'm taking the shade Real Gar and I'm putting this a little bit below where I put Burnt Orange and Raw Sienna. Again, this is just another color to add depth and make sure that all of the colors blend together seamlessly. Next, I'm going into this little Tartlet Tease palette and I'm taking the shade Heartbreaker on my Sigma E25 blending brush and I'm putting this in my crease but below all of the orange shades that we put on already. This is going to darken up the look a little bit and make it look a little bit more smoky and it'll give us a more defined crease for when we cut the crease with concealer. Now taking my new favorite concealer, Tarte Shape Tape, on a E15 Sigma Flat Definer brush, I am cutting out the crease. Now let me tell you, I'm no professional at this. This is definitely something that takes a lot of practice and precision and probably a professional, which is not me. This is probably my fourth or fifth time attempting to do a cut crease, and while it's pretty decent, I could definitely use a lot of work, and this is definitely a very difficult task for me but just take your time and be patient and don't worry too much about the end of the cut crease because we're going to be smoking out the outer V anyway. Now I'm taking my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm just going to set all of the concealer that we put on our lid. That way the crease stays cut and it doesn't smear. Now I'm taking Heartbreaker again and I'm just using a flat angled brush and I'm just defining that crease a little bit more. You wanna make sure you stay above the line of concealer where you just cut the crease and you also wanna make sure to blend out this line so it is not too harsh. Next, I'm just taking my Cila Kit and Eyeshadow and I'm spraying some Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray on my flat shader brush and we're just going to put this on our lid right below the crease and where we concealed our lid. And then I just went back in and defined the crease a little bit more and made sure that no, none of the shimmery pigment got on my lid. Um, now I'm going to take that deep purple shade mixed in with Heartbreaker and I'm going to put this on the outer V of my eye. This is kind of what makes the cut crease of this look a little bit more accident proof in my opinion because you really don't have to be as precise as a typical cut crease because the outer V is going to be smoked out anyway but you definitely want to make sure to blend out these colors together or else it's just going to look like a big blob on the corner of your eye which is no fun. Then I just took the shade Whisper and I'm just going to put this underneath my brow bone just to clean things up a little bit. Then I'm going to take my Tartiste Double Take Eyeliner and with the felt tip side I'm just going to very thinly line my upper lash line. Then I'm going to curl my lashes and apply my L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes Excess Mascara. That is such a long name. Now I'm just applying my Huda Beauty Lashes 
these are in the shade the shade these are in the style jade number three and then i took the other side of my double take liner by tarte just the pencil side and i'm lining my tight line now i'm taking my mario badescu rose water spray and spraying my face and then i'm taking my becca backlight priming filter just to give myself a luminous glow now I'm going in with my favorite foundation ever, the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I just bought this foundation recently, if you saw my Sephora haul, and I absolutely adore this foundation. By far the best foundation I've ever tried, and the shade actually matches me perfectly. So I'm just blending this in with my beauty blender um, all over my face and down to my neck. And then I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer Make two triangles underneath my eyes, some on the bridge of my nose, some on my chin, some on my forehead, and we are just going to blend this out with a beauty blender. Once that's all blended, I'm going to take my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, and I'm going to bake underneath my eyes and my nose, and everywhere that we put the concealer just to make sure everything is set in place. Then I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. I'm gonna take that middle shade. And I'm going to contour underneath my cheekbones. And then I'm going to take the two outer darkest shades, contour the top of my forehead and um, later on my jawline. And then again with that middle shade on the, on the bridge of my nose. No, not the bridge of my nose. The sides of my nose to make my nose appear smaller and underneath my lip to make my lip appear a little bit poutier. Then I'm just taking the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I'm going to carve out where I put my contour and let this sit for a little bit. That way it just cleans up the line a little bit and makes it look a little bit sharper. Then I took my Dallas Box Blush and put some on my cheekbones and the Liquid Gold Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. I think these are in the shade Moonlight or Moon Dust. I'm not sure, it'll be in the description. Then going into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero kit, I'm taking the shade Forever Lit and I'm putting this on the tips of my cheekbones. Don't be afraid to go ham with the highlighter for this look because one, you can never have too much highlighter and two, you're going to a festival, so who cares how much you're glowing? And then I'm going to put some on my inner corner, some on the bridge of my nose um, as an exclamation point, blend it in with my fingers, and then some on my cupid's bow. Then I'm just going to take some of that contour or bronzing shade and I'm just going to bring it down to my neck just to make sure my neck matches my face. And then I'm going to take that Tartiste liner again, I'm going to put it on my bottom waterline. And then I'm going to take the shade Burnt Orange and put this on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Cypress Umber from the Anastasia palette. And I'm going to also smoke this above where I put Burnt Orange. Now for the fun part, I'm taking the NYX Glitter Liquid Liners. And I just have it in this blue color. And I'm going to do lot, three lines down the bottom of my eye. Why was that so hard for me to say? And you're kind of gonna make it look like you're crying. This is kind of similar to the Glam Fortune Teller look I did. And then I took Forever Lit and put it underneath my brow bone. Now I'm just going to take these little tattoo jewelry things and I'm just going to put them on miscellaneous places above my eyebrow. I thought this was a pretty cool idea just to add things. And then I took that same highlighter and put it on my collarbone and on the tips of my shoulders. Now taking the Kylie Lip Kit in Exposed, I'm just lining my lips and then I'm going to apply the liquid lipstick and then I'm going to spray my face with NYX Stay Matte Finish Spray and this look is complete. So this is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It would really help me out. We actually just hit 2,000 subscribers, which is awesome. I know it may not seem like a lot, but to me, it totally is a milestone. And I can't wait to grow my channel and create more content for you guys. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching again, and I hope to see you guys next time.